So starting with the dashboard here, we're going to go through the different ways that the, the container tracking system works in Visco. So from the home page, when you log in, you can see you have the, the calendar events here. So, I mean, in terms of how this relates to, to the container tracking, you're going to see when containers are shipping and when containers are arriving right on your calendar. And those shipping dates get updated automatically as we receive data back from the shipping line. Um, in addition, there's this alerts area here. So the system will alert you um, when various triggers are hit, if containers are shipping late or they're late in arriving or they've been sitting at the port and have not been picked up. Um, the system will alert you on the home on the home page here. And like if you want to pull in a list of all containers that have been sitting at the port for more than three days, for example, um, it will show you those containers and last time they were updated, when they arrived, that kind of thing. Um, and with any of these two, it's also tied in with your email. So you receive email notifications letting you know that uh, that criteria has been hit. So let's see how the, the container actually gets tracked. So we go into the list of containers here. This would be a list of all the containers that have been created in the system. Um, you have the, the container number, the status of that container, the last time the information was updated. I'm just going to sort this by date. And we'll pull up an example here that's actually being tracked right now. Here's one that's being tracked. So if I click into this, you can see that in the general info area here, there's all the logistics related information. So as soon as you enter the container number and you click this box to say automate tracking, the this will autofill with the, the email address of the user that's logged in but you can add other email addresses here too. So other people that you want to receive notifications when their status changes on this container. Um, in addition, the some of the logistics information will come back from the carriers. So like we get the bill of lading back, we get the shipping company back, um, the container type, the port, things like that. Th these details will, will autofill. Other things you'll have to enter manually, but this is area, and you can do reports on this too. So this is any logistics information that you want to track about this container would appear there. The other thing that comes back as soon as you set the automate tracking to yes are these events. So you'll initially get all of the events that will happen on this container will, will all come in, the location of where those events are expected to occur and the planned date in which that, that event is expected to happen. So for example, when the container is expected to ship when the container is expected to arrive. So you get you get these dates back. And then as the status changes, so we, we run we run a check on the status every six hours. And as the status changes, you'll get uh, the completed will get set to yes, you get the actual date that the event occurred. And, um, and then that can also trigger email notifications, which we'll, we'll get into. So, so this is being updated automatically. And probably more importantly, the ETA, if there's any changes in the ETA, that gets updated automatically as well. So the other element of this is at any given time, you can click into this live look and it pulls up on a map exactly where that container is. Um, this does take a second to load actually, but it, it pulls up exactly where the container is on a live map. And this updates pretty much instantly actually. Uh, visit change. You can zoom in as close as you want. This is actually this one sitting at the port in Savannah, um, but it shows you exactly where where it is and where it came from. Kind of gives you the the list of where it was on in the world. Um, so that's the live look piece, and then the other piece is the the email alerts, which I've made reference to a couple times, where you get alerts like this if something's running late or if there's a status change on the container. There's various different email alerts that come through. Um, just tells you like in, in this case, this, this shipment hasn't been released yet or based on the, the expected data was supposed to discharge, it should have been already and it's, it's kind of giving you a warning. Um, so those are the different components. And, uh, and of course, all the logistics related information in addition to being available like on the dashboard like we were talking about is also available in different, alert, uh, different reports so for example, like there's this list of containers that we were looking at earlier, you can see all the containers. You could just say, I only wanna see the ones being tracked or just show me when things are arriving or just show me things that are currently on the water, um, different ways in which you can filter this. 
And there's also a report called Venture Explorer that allows you to look like either by, by supplier or by product. You can kind of narrow it down and, and look at the information in different ways as well.